The following Norwood Primetime program is a special tribute to Ruth Lyons. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the host of Norwood Primetime, Terry Loftus. Thank you very much. Thank you. What a delightful audience tonight. We're delighted you could be here. You know, tonight is a very, very special show for us on Norwood Primetime. Our show is a tribute to Ruth Lyons. Not only to Ruth, but to her Christmas fund and to the people who work behind the scenes and in front of the cameras with her for so, so many years. And so tonight we're going to take a walk down memory lane and we hope you'll go with us. You know, tonight we've got some very special guests. There's the best way to do a tribute to Ruth Lyons is to bring the people on this show who were a part of her show. Because you see, there really isn't much videotape from her old show. Videotape really hadn't been invented yet when Ruth Lyons was doing television. And all of her programs were done live. So the best way to celebrate Ruth Lyons is to bring the people on this show who can talk about her career. And tonight, we've got some good ones for you. We've got Bonnie Lou and Marion Spellman and Ruby Wright. And let's, yeah, come on. I can't tell you what a kick it is for, those, for me to have those people on the show. Cliff Lash is here. We've got, yes, Cliff. And we're also going to give you a behind-the-scenes perspective on Ruth's show. We've got two of her former directors here, Bill Gustin and Gene Waltz. And Gene is going to be on videotape. Ron Wilson will also be here. So those were her former directors. And we've got her radio announcer here, the fellow who announced for her and was her sidekick on radio, a Mr. Paul Jones. So it's a big show, and I think we <laughs> ought to give a nice round of applause. Ruth Lyons touched all of our hearts in, I think, a very special way. She came into our living rooms and our family rooms for 25 years. The following videotape I'd like you to watch. It was put together by our director, Dave Gusserst, and our technical director, Mike Barquette. And it's a celebration of Ruth's career and really a celebration of Christmas because those two, those two things, Christmas and Ruth Lyons, are very difficult to separate. Let's watch this tape and enjoy. And we're 
for trimming the tree. For you know, sure as snow, it's as certain as can be. Santa Claus is heading this way. He's never been so busy. It makes me dizzy just to think of all he has to do. He's never late now, is he? When he comes on Christmas Eve to visit me and you. So sing nanny nanny and a fiddle dee dee while we hang up our stockings and we're trimming the tree. For you know, sure as snow, it's as certain as can be. Santa Claus is heading this way. Pumpkin pie. Santa Claus is heading this way, this way, this way. Yippee! What a lady, what a lady. Great to hear her voice again on that recording done some 25 years ago. You know, Ruth Lyons was a success for a lot of reasons, but one of the reasons she was such a great success was because she surrounded herself with good people, talented people. With us tonight is one of the people that goes all the way back to her days at WKRC Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, Cliff Lash. Very nice to be here. It is just great to see you again. Thank you. How, is, how are things going in Cliff Lash's life these days? What are you doing? Well, not much of anything, Terry, really. <laughs> I, I loaf a lot. I did do a lot of traveling since I've been retired, which is seven years ago. Right. And I've been on 16 trips with Ruby Wright. Oh, with the Barney Rapp uh, agency. Yeah, so yeah, you're, yeah. you're getting all over the world, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I've seen Great. a lot Great. of the world. Yeah. You know, you worked very closely with Ruth on the music that she wrote. Tell oh, yeah. me something about how she went about writing those songs. Well, the funny part about it, a lot of times, uh, she would come in uh, from <clears throat> her home and, and say, I stopped at this red light down here, and I wrote a song, Clifford, play. And I'd, <laughs> I'd say, play what? <laughs> and she said, well, just play, play something. <clears throat> so I would, no, that's the wrong key, you know, <laughs> try that. And we would literally almost write the thing on, on the show, you know. Now, she was also a musician herself, wasn't she? Well, she, I wouldn't say. <laughs> Why did you hesitate, Cliff? <laughs> Don't put me on the spot. Right. I mean, Ruth but had But she did off. play the organ. And oh, yes. Yeah. And the okay. piano. Right, yes. right, okay. But, uh, I mean, uh, I, she didn't write the music. I would put it down for her. Right, right, exactly. And, and what year, when did you begin with Ruth? Tell me about how you got started together. Well, I started with Ruth in 41 at KRC Radio. Mm -hmm. And she had been there, I don't know, two, when was the flood, 38 or? 39, 37. 39. I wasn't around, I don't know. And that's when she started at KRC, you right. see. And mm -hmm. then I came along in 41, and she had a program then with Dick Nesbitt. And uh, I was in the band with Chick Mothy, and we got acquainted that way. And then I had to go to the service in 41. Right. 42, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And then I came back in 46, got my degree at the College of Music, and I got a call one day to join her at in 49, and I was there until 87. Yeah. No, that's not right. <laughs> Since 78. 78, 78. turn right. that around. This man is very futuristic, isn't he? <laughs> you know, Cliff, I can't tell you what a treat it is to see you again, and I saw you on the Thanksgiving special that WLW did this year, Yes. and you are playing better than ever. Oh, you really thank are. you. It's a delight. I, I have time to practice now. Yeah, well, I bet you do. <laughs> Who do you have with you tonight playing for us? On bass is Gene Wilson. He was at the station uh, with the Paul Dixon show. And then the last few months I was there, he was with my band. Mm -hmm. And this is Ron McCurdy on drums. Let's give those guys a welcome. <laughs> now, do you remember the Wave song? Yeah, sure. You do? Sure. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is ask if anybody in the audience remembers the Wave song. Because, now, I don't want you to play shy with me. I want someone to sing as much of the Wave song as they can. Now, you remember, I have a prize. We'll have a prize for you. If I have to give it out of my own pocket, we'll give you a prize, which will probably happen. But um, don't be shy. Now, Cliff, play a verse or so. All right. All right, now, does anybody know it? Anybody know it? Can you remember the words? Where? All right, come on. There's somebody, somebody knows it? 
Do you don't have to know all the words, just give it a try. What about Lady in the Gloves? Give it a try. Come down here. Well, come down anyway, you can talk to me. You don't have to sing the song. Come over here. Oh, well, wait a minute now, she's got it. Can you get me up here? Oh, that's all right. Now that's all right. Yeah, let's give it a, Cliff, I think she might give the big, uh, what do you call that? Say hello to the folks who are watching. Say hello da -da -da. to the folks who are watching. We want you to see, and we hope you'll agree. Wave, you really look lovely on color TV. We wish you were with us. We want you to know that we're finally here at the show. Show us your gloves. So we wave you a great big hello. Give yourself a hand. We'll be back in just a minute. Thank you. Thank you.